These turtle protectors used to be turtle poachers. Filipino fishermen are now at the forefront of conservation on the beaches of the northern Philippine province of La Union. Armed with torches and pails, Jesse Kabagbag and his family hunt every night for sea turtle eggs. He can spot nesting sites easily, having learned from an early age how to track the reptiles and their eggs, which many residents in the town would typically eat or trade. Because life was so difficult back then, the sea turtles were the easiest target for our daily meals because there weren't that many fish to catch. So our folks would usually feed us the meat and eggs when we were young. Now, Kabagbag's egg poaching days are over. He and fellow volunteers now use their hunting skills to help marine turtle conservation efforts here in La Union, whose pristine beaches serve as nesting sites for the endangered olive ridley turtles. Once they spot a female turtle, they tag and release the animal, overseeing its safe return to the ocean. It's all done under the umbrella of non-profit KERMA, which is leading the conservation program here and conducting training for locals. In 2009, there's a nest that emerged just here in front of the house. So it was the first time for us to see sea turtles. And, you know, we were very excited, so we researched about them, you know, we wanted to find out what type of sea turtles they are, why, why they were here. And it was through the research that we found out that um, this is actually a nesting site for them. And at that time, poaching was very rampant. And, you know, when we found that out, then it was uh, from, from being uh, excited, you know, it was, we were kind of horrified. Fast forward to today, you know, it's our 12th season. And 98% of our uh, patrollers are former poachers. While Kapagbag still relies on fishing as his primary source of livelihood, he also receives monetary perks from Kerma for finding sea turtles or eggs. He gets the equivalent of roughly $9 for finding a live sea turtle and 37 cent for each egg they collect. That's four times more than what they would usually get from selling it on the black market. Much of Kerma's funding comes from private donations, as well as partnerships with local schools and companies. I am overwhelmed with joy, especially when I find the eggs myself. Whenever they release the new turtle hatchlings in our site, I am truly proud. Even our neighbours, they appreciate what I do because it's not easy. I'm happy that I get to contribute to the conservation of the sea turtles.